Look at that boy. Look at our boy right there. Hacking them zombies. Acting all high and mighty over there. He's ready to kick some booty. Sony Interactive Entertainment presents Other Ocean and Varelville. In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. Oh. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The female the voice sounds not better than I thought it was going to be. Daniel Fortescue led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how, at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Uh... Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. I wonder if they ever do explain how the sorcerer comes back. I would think they would have at least explain about that part at least. Oh baby. Oh baby, here it comes. It looks a little peaceful for a minute. Okay, there we go. There's a guard that like, architecture going on and such. Still looks a little bit lighthearted almost. There he is. Sorcerer. Uh, oh. He doesn't look as menacing compared to like the original ah. version, at least in my opinion. Mm. How many eyes are there? But everything else is just like. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this version of the Sorcerer, to be honest. He doesn't really look that menacing, at least in my opinion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's just taking a little stroll. No, nobody's business. <laughs> Bring on the lightning! <laughs> His axe is covered in blood. There's the now there's the horror details we're, we're talking about here. How funny would it have been if that hand actually got that, that curl right there? That would have been kind of hilarious to be honest. Zombies.
All right, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Oh, the spooder. Man, evil. Hello, everybody. How you all doing today? And welcome to Medieval. Now, this is a game that I was so, just like a lot of you guys, I wanted to play this game so badly, guys. When I heard the news that this game was going to get a remake at the beginning of this year, I got so excited. Now, quick confession, I've never beaten any of the other versions before. I've never beat the original versions in the past. I played them, but I've never completed them. I meant to do a I meant to do a let's play of the original version before going to this game, but a lot of things kept coming up where I couldn't do that for a while. So we're just gonna go in this blind as much as possible. We're going this part of the blind, and we're just gonna do our best. Hopefully we do good, guys. Hopefully we do good. Arise! Wait, not rise yet. There he is, there's our boy. I love he gives out that little cute smile when he gets right back up. All right, it's a shine, Dan. All right, here you go. It has risen again. It? Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. Hey, there's treasure right there. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspired to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. What the hell? Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarak and live up to the legend. Definitely. We hopes it does well. We'll definitely do well. We definitely do well. Hey, can I get that treasure first? Oh, we can get the treasure first. Okay. Oh, babe. Controls are a little weird. It might take some getting used to. Come on, let me get that treasure. I'll have to use the arrows for now. Was there another treasure? Hey, what do we have over here? Oh, it's my little thing. Okay. So it's practically my sparks. Okay. Definitely do some reading. Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Okay, thank you for your tip. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Definitely. Controls are a little weird to be honest with me. Hang on, can I can I can I fix a feels a little better. Okay, we'll try that for now. You will find life bottles throughout Galamere. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Definitely. Okay. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. 
To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Okay. Controls are just a little weird. Hey, what we got over here? Throwing knives, okay. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Makes sense. Uh, oh, shit, they need to grab a throw star. Copper shield! What do we got over here? Yeah! During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Okay. Okay. Why they were a permacle set. Alright. Alright, fam, here we go. Uh, okay. No, oh, I wanted to read the book first. Oh my god, look at this map, dude. Look at this! Alright, here we go! The graveyard. Take your first steps as a hero and slay some helpless zombies. They may be cr seem cranky, but they just woke up from a, from a nice long nap. Hey, we woke up from a nice long nap, so... I could probably relate to this, these guys probably in a little, in a little bit away. There you go. Okay. Open all the books. Because oh, knowledge. Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living. Lifeless and living. they want to do it over your dead body. Bring on the zombies. Trolls are going to take a getting a little used to, but we'll get there eventually. Oh, sweet. There is a first person shooter. Not bad, not bad. I hear a Zambi. Can't see him. Oh, we're far over there. Oh. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Okay. So I would go have to go this way. Now, oh, hey, what do we got over here? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, 
Hi, boys. You ready to party? I'm ready to party! Alright, nice chat with you boys. Give me that money. What's this over here? Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. Okay. Oh, hi, boys. How are you all doing? Nice chat with you boys, too. Now let's regenerate some health. All right, there you go. Oh, thank God I'm not doing a speed run yet. Oh. Remember... Nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. All right, cool. Thank you. Hey! Oh, that's right. I need to kill more souls before I can unlock that. That's right. No, not yet. We're getting there, though, I think. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Chalice can be collected. Nice. All right, now let's go get the chalice this time. There you go. I was gonna say, he didn't bring my shield, did he? Oh, this was with the gargoyle guy they kept talking about. Right, we'll Fire set of those, and I think we're good. Suckers out here. Uh, 
I should probably recharge real quickly. Thank you, there's another thing over here. Ah! Dude, the controls are so weird. That I remember them to be. There you go. Get out of my faces! There comes you? Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. Okay, okay. I'll come for shield. Nice, nice, nice. I just realized I should probably move my thing a little bit. I think it's blocking the view of my shield thing, whatever such. We'll go right here for now. Try that for a bit. Nope. Hold on, guys. Okay, we're back. Softly, Zarek awaits me on these gates. Oh boy. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Tread softly, Zarek. All right, here we go. 